Hello guys, this is Ramiro with uh, Paradise Chevrolet Cadillac Fleet Department. Today I'm going to talk about the 3500 Silverado that has a contractor body on it. Uh, it will be a dually just because most contractor bodies, you know, uh, guys that use this are going to be putting pretty, pretty, uh, pretty uh, substantial amount of weight on it. So you always want to go with a dually on these. Uh, this one actually has a Duramax. Uh, diesel engine in it, so it's the 6.6. .6. You can get them in the 6.0 gas engine. Uh, this one happens to be the the Duramax. For you guys who are familiar with the Duramax, you're going to know on the Silverados that you're going to get the Allison transmission, which is probably one of the better transmissions on the market. Um, if you kind of look under the hood really quick, you're going to notice that uh, again, traditionally with GM vehicles, most of the reservoirs um, are transparent, so you can kind of look and see where your fluid levels are. You're gonna see your power steering over here. You're gonna see your antifreeze over here. Uh, again, you can just pop the hood really quick, kind of eyeball it, see if you needed to add any fluid, add it and hit the road. Uh, also right here, you're gonna notice you got your def, uh, this is where the def tank is where you need to refill it. Actually, the def tank's underneath, but this is where you would refill uh, or top it off. Uh, a lot of other manufacturers has it, you know, they'll have it right next to the fuel. Um, a lot of accidents happen that way where somebody can mistakenly, you know, they're not paying attention or whatever, they can actually put fuel inside the, uh, the, def, uh, the def tank. So you have to be careful with that. Another uh, way to kind of tell if you're just kind of walking the lot, whether this is a diesel or not, this is the first indicator. As soon as you see that, you know it's a, it's a diesel. Um, and then obviously it says diesel and Allison here on the site. All right, other than that, it'd be a gas. All right, so again, you're going to see right here, it says 3,500. That's also a pretty uh, pretty easy thing to spot on the side. You do sometimes have to look at it pretty close. The other giveaway is a dually, but a lot of times it'll say 2,500. And if you don't uh, kind of pay attention to that, you could be looking at the wrong truck. Big cap ring mirrors, that's usually going to be on the bigger trucks. Uh, this one actually does have uh, power windows, power locks. That is not standard on these vehicles, so you have to order it with it. You're gonna see right here on the side, where you got your buttons for your mirror, or for the mirrors, you're gonna have your lock and unlock, and then you're also gonna have the, the switches there for the, um, the windows. Um, you're gonna see that it does have cruise control. That is standard on all Silverados. Uh, you're also gonna see the bigger screen for the radio. The radio uh, is a Bluetooth radio. It's the MyLeak system. So you can pair or yeah, you can pair your your cell phone up to it, and don't have to worry about that, especially here in California. Um, you, it'll also have the MyLink system, so if you actually have an iPhone or uh, a Google phone, you can go ahead and just kind of plug uh, your USB and tether your phone to it. And if you're using uh, Google Maps or uh, or just a regular Maps uh, app. When you plug that in, it'll actually project it to the screen so you can kind of have navigation also. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of guys like that. I have it in my truck. I absolutely use it almost every day that I'm on the road. Again, this is a 12 foot, uh, this is actually a 12 foot contractor because it's a regular cab. It's gonna give you the 12 foot. Some guys like the crew cab. Because it's a crew cab, then you would get a 10 foot body. So again, regular cab, this is a 12 footer. The first thing you're gonna notice up here is it says Napide, that is who makes this body. Napide's been around a long, long time. I've been to the factory a couple times, kind of seen the process, it's pretty remarkable. Uh, they probably make one of the better bodies uh, in the country, you know, one of the better quality ones. Not that, you know, not that none of the other ones are any good. They're, they're all pretty good. It's just, Napide's just, uh, you know, they just, little, little better quality, I think, personally. So when you're looking at the uh, the ladder rack up here you're going to notice that this is a forklift loadable rack all right if you don't know what that is you're going to see that there's not a top there's not a top bar up top so if you kind of take a peek over here to the to the right you're going to notice on this different type of truck that's a standard ladder rack so you're going to see how it has that bar up top so if you're going to put anything on with a, uh, a forklift you would literally have to drop the forks and drop the stuff on uh and you know it'll actually kind of like just drop. So at least here, you could actually just load it up with a forklift, lower the forks and just kind of pull it out without a problem. It seems that uh, over the last couple of years, it just seems like more and more people are asking for the forklift loadable. So we've, uh, we've started ordering the majority of our trucks with a forklift loadable rack. So pretty cool. So on this contractor, you're gonna have um, a top shelf up here 
you're going to see it, uh, it's a, well, a flip lid. You have gas shocks, so it makes it a little easier to kind of open. You do have little separators in here, so you can cut fittings, whatever it is that you need to put in. Um, go ahead and pretty easy to close. You have these big compartments up top. It is pass-through, so if you need to put some kind of, uh, you know, I've have a, a guy that does doors, and uh, he'll put his bigger, uh, his bigger uh, levels, um, you know, uh, whatever it is that you need to put in there that's a little bit bigger, you can just kind of shove it through. Um, all these compartments lock, you can see, right here, and then also you have one down below that's also passed through, so in case you just need to stick something in there that way. A uh, lot of compartments, man, for all kinds of stuff. Oops. All right. So you're gonna see there's two uh, there's two actual fuel tanks up there, and then over here you do have a workspace up there. Um, if you look over here to this uh, over here, you have the little napite sign. That's actually a divider, so you can pull that off, and then you're gonna be able to put you know two by fours, uh, whatever it is that you need to put in there. Um, up here you can a lot of guys that are in the in the concrete and things like that they'll put whatever you know wheelbarrows they put all kinds of stuff up here so and then you can also work up here this actually is a metal there's a lot of the uh, uh, contractors that are wood so it just depends on what you want and how you want to order it and then these all kind of yeah, so you can keep stuff secure these all fold down also. This one has a little compartment here. You can put a shovel or whatever it is that you need to put in there. Uh, just a little extra storage. We also have a class five hitch down there. Uh, traditionally guys like to tow with these bigger trucks. So we're always gonna have a backup camera or excuse me, uh, not a backup camera, a tow hitch. The backup camera, uh, it is a law that anything under 10,000 pounds needs a backup camera this thing is rated for 13,200 pounds so it's not required to have a camera if you want to have one installed you can but we don't have one on this because you really don't need one all right so going all the way around this is kind of just going to mirror the other side again you got your top shelf up here or flip lid same thing you got all your little dividers Pretty easy, same thing, kind of goes through here in case you gotta put anything a little bit longer or just whatever you need to do, man. All kinds of different compartments. One thing I have know about contractors, man, is, is if uh, the, more, uh, the more compartments, the better, man. They can just put more stuff in their, in their truck. So same thing down here. Yep. This one has a lot of compartments, actually. And then you can see the DEF tank down below that holds about five and a half gallons of DEF fluid. Um, and then uh, if you look inside there at the very bottom, this one actually has uh, right there underneath the uh, air conditioning uh, knobs, you're going to see where it says auxiliary one, auxiliary two, and all that stuff, auxiliary three. That, that's actually um, what we call upfitter switches. A lot of guys will put uh, light bars and things like that or you know, little strobes on the corners, especially the guys that do road work, you could actually wire it straight into the cab there and use those as a uh, as your on and off switches for them. Again, this is a 2000, this was actually a 2018 Napi contractor on a regular cab 3500. Hope to hear from you guys soon. If you need, go ahead and give us a call at 951-699-2699 here at Paradise. Just ask for the fleet department. Thank you.